80 years and it's still popular. So this is this is what we bring everyone from that this kind of participated in the parks throughout the summer and they get to come here on the last night of the summer as far as we're concerned with the parks and get to do a lot of activities, have some food, entertainment. It's good to kind of culminate the summer and get everybody out here. We had a great turnout so far. 80th year of Yellow Hat, the Yellow Hat program in Decatur and uh, you know, we've had, we figure over 5,300 people have started their careers by being a Yellow Hat here in the Decatur Park District, so it's pretty exciting. I was a, I was a Yellow Hat in 1985 at Gum Park, the only all-concrete park at the time, and uh, so there's not a whole lot of, you couldn't slide when you're playing wiffle ball, but uh, we had a lot of fun. The importance to me is, it's kind of a twofold importance. For one, it gives young adults, young college students, and young, uh, you know, teachers a chance to get out in the parks during the summer and interact with kids, and it also gives kids the opportunity to interact with adults and have an opportunity to get a free meal during the day at the parks, as well as uh, some, you know, coordinated time together. I mean, we do different programs with math or read in the parks, things like that. So it's a little bit of an education, which maybe they don't even realize sometimes, but also it just lets kids get outside. Well, we appreciate the Yellow Hats and, and are excited that the program continues. And, uh, you know, who knows what happens in another 80 years. I mean, that's what we're here for at the park. So it's nice to see people out here for, for whatever activity it is. And uh, that's, what, that's why we offer this. And um, like I said, we had the youth band tonight, a variety of activities going on. And uh, it's a nice way to just to kind of finalize the summer.